Steve Kalamazuma Kone, the first black South African to play in Europe and have a street named after him in a foreign country. He played all over the continent, having left South Africa in 1955. He later retired in the USA, where he earned his PhD in psychology, a true inspiration to the youth, although that was not the case. People in Europe has a far greater memory uh, they talk more, they wrote more, there is a book and, and a forum and about him than in our own country. And that is uh, the first thing that stands out. Kalamazoo was of a time when there was no national team and where black excellence was denied. There are now plans to remedy McCorney's lack of a footprint in his own home country. These include a memorial service and a bus to be unveiled at the FMB Stadium, but also to bring back home his mortal remains and his many awards, which his wife Louise wants to give so that South Africans might learn Kalamazoo's story. When we spoke to Louise, she, she indicated that she's got all the <coughs> memorabilia, <coughs> the accolades that Dr. Mukoni has actually won and that she would like them to be kept in South Africa in a special place. The special place, in my view, which I've not discussed with the president of SAFA and SAFA as a whole, is our national stadium. In a time when history and identity is such a hot topic, few stories can resonate as much as that of Steve Kalamazoo McCornes.